Hello, my name is David Rubin. Thank you for visiting my website. Uh, this video is going to be a follow-up to the Child Support Guideline Worksheet, how we determine child support in Maryland. I explained to you what the child support guidelines were and how they are calculated and what numbers we use. But what I didn't explain is the difference between what we call shared physical custody and sole physical custody for guidelines purposes. And what I mean by that, and I've got to be clear, this is something that most litigants don't understand. In fact, many lawyers don't understand. We have these words called primary physical custody or joint legal custody. Those are custody terms. What I'm talking about here is a different set of words we use when determining child support. When we talk about child support and using the child support guidelines, we look at overnights. That's how the Maryland legislature has determined we do it. We look at overnights. That might be fair, it might not be fair, and I'll explain a situation where it's clearly unfair, but that's what we do. And the legislature has determined that for child support purposes, it's called sole physical custody if one parent has the children more than 280, 281 overnights a year. And what I mean by that is we use this number 128. It's not, it's not 280. It's, it's, it's some other, we use the number 128. Apologize for that. I'm doing this unscripted, doing the best I can. Stay with me. 128 overnights. If one parent has the children or child with them more than 128 overnights per year, then we move into what's called the shared physical custody guideline calculation. What does that mean? It means when we plug in those numbers, we hit shared and not sole, and a different number comes out. And because it's more overnights, it's a lower amount of child support. At least once a week, somebody calls me up and says, well, I don't have the kids that much now, but I really want them two and a half to three overnights per week. I want joint physical custody. I want more overnights. And unfortunately, a lot of times they're saying that not because they really want the kids, because they haven't in the past, but because they want to pay less child support. If they have more than 128 overnights per year, and that's usually about, it's an average of about two and a half overnights per week, which is a lot of time, then child support will be less. If it's anything less than 128 overnights per year, meaning the typical every other weekend situation from Friday through Sunday, or even Friday through Monday morning, or every other weekend plus Wednesday night, we're usually at what's called a sole physical custody guideline amount, and that's gonna be a higher amount. That's the full amount. And somebody might say, I don't want her to have 128 overnights because I need that child support. It doesn't work that way. When you go to court, first, a judge determines what's best for the kids. This is the access schedule we're gonna do. I don't care how many overnights it is, a judge should say, this is what is best for these kids in this situation. After they've done that, they go back and count. Whatever that number is, that's how they calculate child support, and they do it based on the numbers. So when you hear the number 128, that's what they're talking about, the child support guidelines. If it's 50-50, which means each parent has 182 and a half, unless it's a leap year, overnights, then some people would come in and say, well, why would I have to pay child support if we have week on, week off, 50-50 physical custody? If you make the same exact amount of money, the child support guidelines are gonna say, neither one of you pay to the other. But if one parent makes $90,000 a year and the other parent makes $20,000 a year or 30 or 40 or 50, meaning if they're not the same income, the parent who makes more money is still going to pay child support even under a 50-50 arrangement. Why? Because the legislature has determined that the child should have the ability to have the same type of standard of living at both parents' houses. Don't go to one house where the person doesn't make very much money at all and you know, eating scraps while the other parent, they have 50-50, but they make a lot more money and they're doing really well there. They try to balance it for the best interest of the children. So if you have questions about child support, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to help you run the guidelines with you and give you some advice. And if it's a case where you need an attorney to help you or file what's called a modification of child support, that means, hey, this is the child support now, things have changed, I want to change things, um, come on in, we'll give you an analysis of, well, it may not change that much after all, or yeah, it will because one of your kids is turning 18, give me a call, I'll be happy to help you.